Welcome back to another tutorial video. This one is about decodes. It is kind of the final bedrock baseline tutorial when you're figuring out the formula that you're going to use when you're building this adventure. If for some reason you're hopping into this uh, channel and this is the first thing you're seeing, I'd recommend going to the beginning of the playlist. Uh, it talks about how I build adventures for other people and the formula that I use. In short, you gotta figure out the stops and then you're gonna figure out how you're going to push your player from one stop to another. And there's three basic ways that you do that. The first one that I talked about was dead drops, which is leaving something in the wild to be found. So giving clues to find a chest in a forest or a park or something like that. The second one was handoffs, where a human being physically hands over some type of clue, whether it's a cryptex or an envelope or something like that. And then now the third one is decodes. And it's basically somebody that is using the things around them that aren't going to change to push them to the next stop. I'm gonna talk about a couple things just briefly, but I'll do full videos focusing on them later. But an easy, easy example uh, could be maybe an Ottendorf cipher, which is also called a book cipher. Uh, you might remember it from the movie National Treasure. It was on the back of the Declaration of Independence. And it essentially is three numbers that when put on a key, which is a block of text, like a paragraph or a page, send to a specific letter. So you have a series of these, and then each one sends to a letter that can say, go to the coffee shop down the street, password, you know, river, and you give the password to the barista, and then they do a handoff. So I hope this kind of helps make a little bit more sense. The idea behind it, and the reason why it's so great, is because you have dead drops, which are fun, but risky, especially for you as the person running this thing. You are sure hoping that there isn't some big festival going on in the park where you're gonna have an envelope sitting on the hand of a statue or a small chest sitting behind a tree. And you have handoffs, which are great as well, but they also involve someone being there. Dead drops, someone's gotta have eyes on it. Handoffs, someone's literally handing over something. But decodes are wonderful because aside from just being fun, you don't have to be there. They're completely self-contained. No one is gonna mess with that statue or that plaque realistically within the week that you decide you're gonna use it. So it's safe and it's fun and it allows you to be able to skip that step and be waiting or set something up at the next stop. I can tell you I've had a couple times where maybe the weather forecasted that it wouldn't rain, but halfway through the adventure, storm clouds rolled in and someone's doing a decode. I can go or send somebody to a store and pick up an umbrella. So when they get the decode and they figure it out, they head to the next stop and along with a chest or an envelope, there's also an umbrella. So it's kind of a cool way to give yourself a little bit of a buffer or if something goes wrong, right? Where maybe the restaurant didn't get the memo or somebody you were gonna have help didn't show up and you need to frantically call a bunch of people, you have the time and bandwidth to do it. Aside from the Ottendorf cipher, another really great um, decode to use is a cryptex. Now, this is a really, really nice one that was designed by Justin Nevins. I interviewed him on my uh, Friends of Constructed Adventures YouTube Live, which I do Fridays, usually at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So you can go check that out. Uh, there are other cryptexes that are a little bit cheaper, uh, which totally get the job done if you don't have the budget for one that's like, you know, a couple hundred dollars. But cryptexes are amazing because all you need is five letters. You need five letters. And then once you put them in correctly, you pull it apart and then you can get whatever's inside. And you can find five letters anywhere, right? As long as you're clear and descriptive. So the idea behind it is maybe they get the cryptex at stop number two and wrapped around the cryptex is an Ottendorf cipher with five letters and instructions that say, go to this park, find the statue of some founding father you know, use this Ottendorf cipher, this is how it works. And they get there and they, you know, decode those letters, open up the cryptex and whatever message you have inside sends them to the next stop. Completely safe, completely contained. It is worth noting, double check your work, have somebody else do it too. Uh, and also you don't wanna make it too long because man, it gets super, super tedious. So this is all to basically help shore this up. Think about it in the formula that I have. 
you start off and you figure out perfect they're going to start at their apartment first place they're going to go is going to be a coffee shop next place they're going to go is going to be a park and then the third place they're going to go is going to be some plaque on a building downtown and then the fourth place might be you know back at home for a surprise party right really short really simple the first stop is the coffee shop so the first stop is a handoff where they're going to be sent there go to this coffee shop and give them this password they get their coffee which sends them to that park where you're going to have a cryptex in a chest sitting behind a bush and that's your dead drop that's where like you have to be there you have to be watching it but they find that cryptex which sends them downtown um, and downtown, you don't have to be there because that plaque that's on the side of the building saying this was a historic building in 1892 and this thing happened here, it's not going to move or change or anything like that. And they're going to use that cipher, they're going to open up the cryptex, and then when they open up the cryptex, there is a message that basically sends them back home. And they go back home and there's a surprise party. But the best part is after that park, you get to head back home and set up the surprise party while they go all the way to the city and then all the way back home. So it's a way for you to get away safely, knowing that nothing really could go wrong, and it gives you that space. So I hope this was helpful. Um, this was the final piece of my kind of basic philosophy foundation. A lot of the future videos are going to be about specific things like cryptexes or Ottendorf ciphers or any of the stuff behind me. If you have any specific requests, things that you'd like me to focus on, put them in the comments. I actually had one of the commenters ask about getting permission. What do I do to make sure that businesses are okay or I don't get a SWAT team called on me or a lawsuit? And I did a fun little video basically telling a couple stories, talking about some of the things that are going through my head when I'm trying to make sure that everybody that's incorporated is happy and playing along. I also have a subreddit r slash constructed adventures it's a wonderful community where lots of people are coming in asking questions or telling stories about the things that they've built giving inspiration and ideas i'm very active and try to be helpful but sometimes they ask me a question that i don't know the answer to and somebody else does uh, i am on instagram uh, instagram it's at constructed adventures and twitter is uh constructed underscore ADV. Uh, and finally, if you want to support me, I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash constructed adventures. Uh, and until next time, happy building.